Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about how um, there was a samurai killer in South Africa years ago, back in 2008, called Morne Haramsa. And no, he was not a real samurai in feudal Japan. Like, he had a lot of sick, sadistic fantasies and hallucinations, and one of the fantasies he had was to kill somebody with either a ninja sword or a samurai sword. Now, in 2008, he goes in there, and he has a samurai sword, and he had a group of friends, about five or six other people, and the other five or six people were just joking about plotting, shooting up the school or blowing the thing up. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't take that seriously. If somebody, even if they're joking around, one, you shouldn't joke about things like that. Two, if police or a witness comes across that and they're just joking about it, um, you still need to take the threat seriously and report it. But... Mornay Harmsa was really the only one that wanted to live out that fantasy and act out the fantasy of shooting up a school which he and his friends were bullied in. Uh, Mornay Harmsa was largely bullied because of his size, and he had about average to below average intelligence, but he was a good manipulator. And when he was 18 years old, he took a samurai sword to school, and he went up to, uh, he was a senior in high school at the time, at this school in Krugersdorp, but he goes to this ninth grader, Jock Pretorius, and tells him, you want to see this? Well, Jock looks closer, and then he cuts Jock Pretorius' jugular vein. And the Jock's best friend tried to stop the bleeding and tried to keep Jock talking, but it was all in vain. He had lost too much blood, and it was just a horrible situation. And... Then, now the unsung heroes are this. Now, one report says he was Sam Montemella. The other says he was Simon Montemella. But Simon Montemella and then Joseph... I have trouble pronouncing Joseph's surname, but they were both black South Africans. They were the groundskeepers at the school in Krugersdorp. Well, they run over to, um, to Mornay Harmsa, and they get cut in the process with the sword but they're able to stop him from trying to swing and kill other people. Because before they got there, si uh, not Simon, sorry, before they got there, Mornay Harmsa did cut another person, but the person only had minor injuries and survived the ordeal. But not Jacques Pretorius, he died. Well, because they tackled him that a and tried to get the sword away from him, that gave time for Mornay Harmsa's brother to come in there and take the sword away from Mornay Harmsa. And then that allowed the school authorities to go in there and take him to the principal's office and detain him until the police got there. And I think Mornay Harmsa came from a stable family. They were strict but stable. It just seemed like he had a lot of mental health issues and he, had, he experimented, I believe, with Satanism. Now, with that being said, I'm a Christian but I don't believe the Church of Satan is to be blamed for this. I also don't believe he had an interest in the rock band Slipknot. Him and all his friends did, but I don't believe the band Slipknot should be played by should be blamed by this. He made a personal decision to go out there and to kill with the samurai sword that day on, in the year 2008, and he got caught for it, and he was sentenced to 20 years in prison. It's been it, he was 18 years old at the time. It's been it's been. 13, almost 14 years now. It's close to 14 years, but not quite 14 years yet. But he will be eligible for parole in, I believe, 2024. I hope he does not get it because he's supposedly well-liked in prison, but it's hard to know if he's reformed his life because he's such a psychopath and manipulator. It's hard to know if he's genuinely reformed or not or if he's genuinely sorry for the actions that he did. My wild guess is no. Now, I'm not a, an expert on this, but I firmly believe that he's a manipulator. He doesn't. He didn't regret what he did, and I think I think he needs to be denied parole. I think 20 years for a sentence of murdering somebody when he was 18 years old, which is a legal adult, by the way, is way too light of a sentence. So, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless him. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.